Hi there, this is Andy with a small update to my shape key driver add-on. And I've made a few changes and that's what I want to show here. I have uh, written with Campbell and he gave me a few suggestions how to improve the script and that's what I tried to. So um, I think you, this will be even better than before and you can um, make your shape key driver even faster and I want to show you how to do it. So this is the model I have and I have a few, a few driver here, for example, eye closed, the eye wide open, mouth up, mouth, uh, mouth down, and wide and narrow. So these are the shapes I have and here are the bones I uh, want to use and attach the um, driver to. So I will... Uh, so I just select my object and also the bone. And now you see a new tool appears here, and that's the driver constraint. So if you select a mesh and an, a bone, it will uh, um, appear automatically. So if you just select um, a bone, it won't. So you have to select the mesh with the shape keys and then the uh, bone, and you will have the uh, op operator here. You can also use the specials menu with W and there's the add-on and just execute it. And I've also added a new um, shape or a new type, create new shape. So if you choose th this one, it will create a new shape for you with the bone name and which works. So if you, if you don't have any uh, shapes in your object, um, it will just create one. So let's say we want to connect now the um, uh, mouth or the eye at first. So let's say we want to move it upwards and then drive it with, with that um, translation. At the moment or in the last video you had, you have to, you had to um, watch how, how far you moved it and then just uh, memorize that value and type it in. Now the add-on guesses what you want to. So you just say you want to move it that high. Now open the operator and it will set the height automatically based on the on the translation or transformation you've done. So just press uh, select the shape. Okay, and that's it. So if you move it up, it will open the eye. Now let's say you want to move it down that, that far just select the proper shape. Oops. Uh, sorry, I've eye wide. So this is eye wide, okay. And this is eye closed. So now you have a controller for opening and closing the eye, which is pretty fast. Um, same for the mouth. So let's select the bone here. Let's say if you move it that high, you want to push the mouth corner upwards. That low, mouth down, mouth wide, and mouth narrow. So and that's it. You have set up all your shapes with just uh, in, in just a few seconds. And the add-on now just watches which um, translation you've done. So, and what is the most extreme translation you've done? And th that axis will be used with the um, trans transformation value. So let's say you want you don't want to use the movement, but the scale. So just scale it up, say I wide, and that's it. He recognizes that you have scaled it, and now he will use the scale. Same for rotation, let's say you want to rotate it. Then you just say, okay, rotation, bam, that's it. So this makes it even faster, and will hopefully work for you. Okay, I've accidentally used the wrong shape, white. So 
So we will set this one to white and this one to closed. And that's it. I hope you like that uh, small edition. You can get the add-on from the description below. And probably I will submit this add-on to the Blender add-ons and uh, maybe it will be shipped by default in the future releases of Blender. I don't know yet, but um, we will see. If, if not, you can always download it from my GitHub repository and have fun, have fun with it. And if you want to uh, get informed for uh, of new updates, just subscribe to my channel or to my Twitter account, which will be linked in the description. And um, if you liked the video, please feel free to share and subscribe to me and have fun blending. Goodbye.